Joey Strube here, Bike Man Performance. Today we're going to show you uh, some of the neat features uh, with the Torque Link and how you can go in and change your ECU and what changes you can make. So first let's go over the different categories. First we have fuel, uh, we have ignition, we have exhaust valve, uh, limits, break-in, fuel compensation, ignition compensation, the oil map, knock tables, idle, and reverse. So first we're gonna go into the fuel category and uh, show you every different table that's in there. So we have fuel, exhaust valve closed, steady, so that's if you're at a steady throttle for more than a given percentage of time. We have fuel exhaust valve transient, that means where you have a moving throttle uh, with the exhaust valve closed. We have fuel mid position and we have fuel open. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to open up one of these maps. So right here we have the fuel EV open map. And say we have a portion of the map here we wanna look at in 3D. We can highlight that, and then once we hit this button up here, it makes that map 3D, we can maximize it, and then we can actually look at that portion of the map in 3D and see if it doesn't follow the normal structure of the rest of it or it looks like something might be off in that. Uh, but this 3D mapping is an awesome tool to quickly look at how that part of the map relates to the rest of it. So now let's go down to our main ignition category. Uh, if you're a, a just getting into tuning, uh, by no means are we here to teach you how to tune, we're just giving you the access to tune. So the first two areas that you'd be most likely tuning would be the fuel, the first one we showed you, and the ignition here. So in the ignition we have exhaust valve closed, mid, and open, and that's just the different portions of the exhaust valve. Uh, we have exhaust valve, uh, these are your at what RPM and uh, barometric pressure your exhaust valve is open. So we have you know, closed throttle through full throttle and you can see how the exhaust valves are opening at different points during this. So this is a stuff that if you were trying to tune with a, a piggyback device such as a, a power commander or, or dobeck box that the ECU would be making changes, opening the power valves, going to a different fuel map and you couldn't really control the fuel because how do you know whether the exhaust valve is open or closed? So uh, we also have uh, RPM limits. This is a RPM limit versus engine coolant temp. RPM limit main, so we can do cold engine protection. Uh, so if the engine coolant temp is you know, below 20 degrees Celsius, we can say only let it go up to 6,000 RPM and that keeps uh, people from getting on the throttle, especially if they've had a couple whiskey drinks or something. And you can see all those from the factory are set to 9,000. That is the factory rev limit in the Polaris ECU. Uh, next we have break-in. Say you've put new engine components in and you wanna go through the reseeding process. Break-in timers for added fuel and you know added oil. You can change these timers. You can also take things out early. Uh, we don't recommend doing that though because those break-in timers are there for a reason. And then we have uh, fuel compensation. So these are pretty neat. You have a uh, uh, fuel comp barrel, and that's absolute air pressure versus RPM, and how much that affects the fuel compensation. If you notice, these are full tables, uh, and the barrel changes quite a bit. At the uh, highest value, it's uh, only 55% of the fuel that it is at uh, atmospheric pressure at sea level, which is you know, right about 14.1 or 14.6, somewhere in there, depending upon the air pressure on that day. Uh, we also have fuel comp versus engine coolant temp, fuel comp versus intake air temp, fuel comp versus muffler temp, and fuel comp versus pipe temp. So that's our, uh, our fuel comp tables. Next we'll go into the ignition comp tables and show you what adjustability we have there. So we have ignition compensation tables here. And so ECT and how that affects your ignition. Uh, pipe temp, you can see you know, on a colder pipe, it's naturally taking away timing, and as the pipe temp comes up, uh, it's gonna give you more timing. That's an important function of the ECU. Uh, ignition compensation for metric pressure. So this is as you go 
uh, up in elevation, it's gonna uh, give you more timing. And you can imagine when you start putting performance products on that definitely make your uh, volumetric efficiency of your engine go past a certain point, uh, the whole demand of the engine changes and we can use this to adapt and we can make products at Bikeman Performance that you couldn't even do without being able to do this. So we can make our pipes lose torque if we can gain, uh, gain that torque back with fuel management if we gain more on the peak end, but we can fill up that, that bottom end by making ECU changes. Uh, we also have the oil map. And the neat thing about this uh, oil map, it's not an oil value, it's actually an oil ratio. So if you increase your fuel, it'll increase the oil automatically to maintain this ratio. If you use any other type of device that isn't doing it within the ECU, uh, as you add fuel, your oil ratio goes leaner. On a two-stroke, that's not good. Especially if you're uh, making a 160 horsepower engine up to a 195 horsepower engine, uh, you could see where that thing would be severely under-oiled. Next, we have the knock tables. The knock tables are for the uh, extremely advanced tuner. Uh, we don't recommend changing any of these unless you uh, have a really good concept grip of what they're doing and why they're there. Uh, this is where you could cause catastrophic damage within your motor if you don't know what you're doing. So if you don't know what you're doing, stay out of here. If you do know what you're doing, they're an awesome resource. Uh, we modify knock tables on all of our uh, packages to make sure that they are uh, sa as safe or safer than the factory program. We also have idle. So this is idle fuel and idle startup fuel and idle ignition. Uh, what dictates idle is being at closed throttle at these different pressures. So that's how the table comes into play. And then the only thing left is reverse. Uh, in most situations, uh, there'll be no need to change this one. So that's the adjustability of Torque Link. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Check out Torque Link at torquelink.com to see all the new features. Cool. Done. All right, stop this bitch.